The U.S. Army is on the cusp of redefining the infantry fighting vehicle, IFV landscape with the introduction of the XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle, expected to enter service in 2027. This new vehicle will succeed the long-standing M2 Bradley, bringing with it advancements in firepower, digital engineering, and modularity. The XM-30, developed under the optionally manned fighting vehicle OMFV program, marks a substantial shift in IFV design with a focus on adaptability and cutting-edge technology. Recently, both General Dynamics and Rainmetal received $800 million each to develop prototypes for this highly anticipated project, part of a $45 billion program aiming to equip the Army with approximately 3,800 units. The XM-30 is set to bring transformative capabilities to the battlefield, featuring a 50 by 228 mm cannon in a remote-controlled turret, twin anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, an AI-enabled fire control system, and a hybrid drivetrain. Designed to balance firepower and mobility, the XM-30 aims to avoid the pitfalls of earlier oversized and overweight IFVs, striking an optimal balance for modern combat demands. Its hybrid electric drivetrain not only enhances fuel efficiency but also contributes to a smaller logistical footprint. The XM-30's compact design will enable it to work seamlessly with future M1 Abrams tank variants, creating a formidable mechanized force. Crew configuration is another innovative aspect. The vehicle will be operated by just two crew members, a driver and a commander, while still accommodating six infantry personnel. This reduction in crew size is a strategic move to streamline operations, while maximizing the vehicle's ability to transport troops efficiently. The XM-30 program has taken a revolutionary approach to design, leveraging digital engineering from the earliest phases to ensure feasibility, cost-effectiveness, and adaptability. Early on, Five contractors were allocated approximately $60 million each to develop digital prototypes based on preliminary Army specifications. Through 3D models and simulations, designers have been able to address challenges in real-time, optimizing everything from sensors to fire control mechanisms before physical prototypes are built. This digital-first approach has proven invaluable, significantly reducing development costs and minimizing the risk of delays. Notably, this modular design allows for future technology upgrades without the need for extensive re-engineering, supporting a range of configurations that can evolve alongside battlefield needs. As a result, the XM-30 will be equipped not only to meet current demands, but also to adapt easily to emerging operational challenges. Replacing the M2 Bradley is not a new goal for the U.S. Army. Previous attempts, such as the ground combat vehicle and future combat system programs, were met with obstacles often due to challenges in aligning requirements, technology, and funding. The XM-30 program, however, has made significant strides in avoiding these pitfalls. According to Colonel Jeffrey Durand, project manager for the XM-30, digital engineering and a more robust alignment of goals have positioned this initiative for success where past efforts fell short. The development of the XM-30 has now reached the third phase of a five-phase plan, with prototype production expected by the end of 2026. Contractors General Dynamics and Rainmetal are set to deliver their initial prototypes, with critical design reviews planned for early fiscal year 2025. Following thorough testing and evaluation, a final vendor selection is anticipated in the first quarter of fiscal year 2028. The Army has also implemented a digital trinity approach, incorporating models-based systems engineering, digital engineering, and DevSEC ops, development, security, and operations, to streamline collaboration and reduce errors. This strategy not only enhances traceability throughout the design process but also strengthens communication between contractors and the Army, allowing for more efficient problem-solving and ensuring that each component aligns with the XM-30's core objectives. The XM-30 is one of six Pathfinder programs selected to demonstrate the value of digital engineering. This approach offers substantial benefits, from reduced production costs to enhanced design flexibility. Senior Army officials have expressed confidence in the XM-30's open architecture, which allows for seamless integration of future technologies and cost savings over the vehicle's life cycle. As the XM-30 project advances, its remaining phases will focus on rigorous prototype testing and evaluation, scheduled to begin in 2026. The Army's final production decision, expected in 2028, will culminate years of planning and development aimed at producing a vehicle that embodies the future of mechanized infantry support. With its blend of advanced technology, modularity, and a digital-first approach, the XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle represents a forward-thinking solution to modern combat requirements. As the vehicle moves closer to deployment,
the U.S. Army is setting a new benchmark for IFV innovation, one that will likely influence combat vehicle design for years to come.